Central Parsons, an athlete from Winona County and a member of Special Olympics Oregon Athlete Leadership Council. Today, we're going to have some fun and get to know SOAR staff member. Please say hello to Cindy Miguel. Hi, Cindy, welcome. Thanks, Rachel, it's nice to be here. Yeah, thank you. So Cindy, what is your uh, job title? My job title is um, Director for Program and Volunteer Services. Okay. Can you briefly explain your, your job role to us? Yeah, briefly, <laughs> briefly. Um, it's a little diverse. So most of what I do is I help the local programs, the different county programs, mm -hmm. um, help their help them build a management team of volunteers. So their leadership. So they're making sure they have a local program coordinator, a sports manager, volunteer coordinator, all of the all of the things that help um, to provide sports training and competition for the local programs. And right now I have about nine or 10 different local programs, including the Portland Metro area. So I've got Washington, Multnomah and Clackamas County. I also have some on the coast. I've got the Tillamook, Clatsop and Lincoln counties, and then some out East as well. Oh, nice. Also help Mark with the sports because that's a lot of fun. So, you know, I do a lot of other jobs too. So we do that. We start with the local programs and then also do um, I'll um, get to oversee some of the competitions and some of the coaches training and the sports manager training. So it'll be fun. How long have you been part of the Thor family? I was just looking at that. Um, it's been a while. So I started in April of 1991. So that makes it what, 30, 31 years, something like that. Like that. Um, yeah, so about 31 years, um, started with Clackamas County as one of two paid staff and, and um, I assisted the area director there. So it's been, it's been a while, three decades. <laughs> what made you want to work for Thor? Um, I love being involved with Special Olympics and I, held a lot of different jobs and I've done a lot of different volunteering, but honestly, Rachel, connecting with the athletes and helping people, whether it's the volunteers or the athletes, all of us doing something that we, we, you know, new challenges and helping us to achieve goals we didn't think were possible. Watching athletes trust each other and trust me as a coach to to step forward into new roles like you've got this new role right um I love that more than anything I love encouraging I love um building folks up I love the social aspect I love the family feel um and the challenges right I you y'all make me rise to my challenges too I love it I love the interaction and the social goal setting and and I love sports and competition let's not get me wrong it's just it's all about sports and competition but we learn so much more in the process don't we yeah we do <laughs> favorite food that you couldn't live without <sighs> I don't know shoot I don't know I think if it's a if it's a treat and I'm gonna do a lot of exercise maybe pecan pie I don't know but um, my go-to every day is probably, um, uh, it's not very exciting, but, um, but uh, plain Greek yogurt with blueberries and granola in it, like every morning, less, like my go-to comfort food. It's weird, but that would be the, that would be the everyday one, but pecan pie would be the, would be the treat. Can't have that every day. No. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite band or musician? Um, I am going to say my favorite band or musician. Well, I'm a current current day fan of Sean Hintz, our very own Sean yeah. Hintz, our athlete musician. I love collaborating with him, but I would say like big scale. I like pentatonics. I love um, acapella music. And I love that they are diverse, that they'll tackle all different genres and different types of music and play with it. Nice. So I would say, yeah. Do you have any pets? 
You know, I do. I do. I have, um, I actually, we have three cats. One lives outdoors. Um, and that's girl kitty, real original name. Um, and we also have two other cats. We've got a big orange cat named sailor and then a little gray cat named Vivi. And she just, she's named that cause she zips around like crazy. And then we have two dogs. We've got Theo, who's a little mini pin chihuahua and mm-hmm. then Tilly who is very active in Special Olympics. Um, and she is a one-year-old English Mastiff. Nice. What would your dream vacation be? My dream vacation would be, I don't know, probably something tropical with kayaking and swimming. Um, You know, I enjoyed going to Hawaii when I, gosh, it was a long, like back in the nineties, I went to Hawaii, I went to Kealakekua Bay and we stayed at a place and it was tropical and I was in the water every day and I got to go hiking around a volcano and probably something tropical, no phones, no electronics, no screen time. I would love that. (laughs) What is your favorite sport? shoot um let's see my favorite sport I don't have just one I would say to coach it's definitely athletics I love coaching track I love it love it love it but to participate I love swimming more really um swimming and kayaking probably my favorite if you were a unified partner what sort (sighs) boat would you sport would you can um would you compete in Oh my gosh, unified. I want to do all of them unified. Um, 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 I'm an individual sports gal. I would say it would be swimming. If we could do, you know, and we could do unified relay, like I would do swimming. Nice. That'd be fun. Yes. Favorite sore memory? Girl, you're killing me with these questions. Favorite sore memory? What is my favorite sore memory? There's a lot of memories, Rachel. Um, My favorite sore memory. Oh my gosh. Um, I would say, oh my gosh, I don't even know. Part of me wants to say 2014 USA games in New Jersey, um, watching the medal game of the unified basketball team. That was like, that was mind blowing. But I also have a number, ooh, this one's gonna make me cry. But my daughter's an athlete. Mm-hmm. And um, and Mark asked her to, to do the um, athlete oath before a basketball game. That was that was phenomenal. That was that was pretty memorable. Oh, she heard me. So uh, yeah, she's in the other room and she heard me say that. That was that was uh that grabbed my heart. What does inclusion mean to you? Uh, inclusion means um, finding a place for everyone to to thrive and to grow. In sports, it means bringing people together, removing barriers, finding what their goals are, and like everybody gets an individualized plan, right? Everybody yeah. gets to gets to uh, gets to set goals and achieve those goals and, um, and has a voice. Everybody has a voice. Everybody has, everybody has a place at the table or on the track or in the field or whatever, but, uh, yeah, we all come together and we bring our differences and, and our unique abilities and even our struggles. And we come alongside each other and find a way to, to, to make everyone feel a part of it. Mm -hmm. I agree. Do you have any role models that you look up to? Role models that I look up to? Well, in SOAR, I absolutely admire my boss. Um, Joe Harvey is, he's got the great balance of a really big loving heart for all the athletes, unified partners, staff, everybody. He really cares. Um, But he's also, he's, he's, he's got attention to detail and I appreciate that um so much in him as far as my, the the work I'm doing now even though I've been with Special Olympics for 30 years in this particular job role I'm pretty new I only started last September so 
He's definitely a role model. I love working with him, love working with Mark Hankin. Again, stickler for detail, right? But, yeah. there, but the enthusiasm for athletes um, is, pretty, is pretty amazing. Yeah. A favorite professional athlete? Um, let's see, shoot. Professional athletes really have to dedicate so much time and energy and focus on their sport of competition. Um, and so there's a lot. Um, I would consider Misty Copeland a ballet dancer. I would consider her an athlete. I, I would consider ballet um, in her caliber a sport, although it's not competitive. Um, I think that as far as women athletes, she's a role model as far as that. Um, let's see. I think Simone Biles mm -hmm. is um, a great example. Um, I appreciate um, that there are more women in sports that are rising up and saying, this is what we need to prioritize. Our mental health and well-being is just as important as our um, as our physical training and skill development. You know, so I don't know. I, I kind of I kind of think she's a, she's a pretty awesome little gal. What is one of your proudest accomplishments? Oh my gosh, proudest accomplishments. You know what? Finishing grad school. I got a master's in counseling and it was the hardest thing. One of the hardest things I've ever done. Um, and uh, that was a lot of discipline and a lot of writing. I like writing, but it was a lot of technical writing and a lot of, um, I let that experience change me. And um, I became more open to hearing more stories and, and how to kind of let everyone, just make room for everyone's individual unique qualities. Mm -hmm. um, I learned a lot about myself and a lot about um, how to connect better with other people. So that was a pretty big accomplishment. Uh, favorite thing to do on a weekend? Favorite thing to do on the weekend? I love gardening when I have the time and when the weather isn't yeah. like not cooperating, but I, I love kayaking. If I could kayak every weekend, I would do that. That would be a blast. Um, I like hiking. I like being outdoors. If I can just be outdoors, um, I love take, taking Tilly out, you know, and uh, doing some things. It would be something outdoors, maybe with family, with my dog. Mm -hmm. If you're on a de deserted island, what would be one album you would take with you? An album? Okay, let's, that was, I was, what would be one album I would take with me? Is all the uh, traffic behind me? Um, I what album would I take? What album would I take? Maybe I would either take because I'm a musicals gal. I would probably either take Wicked or Hamilton. Maybe Wicked one of those two. One. I I think Wicked. Have you? I love I love that musical. I like it because it gets underneath like what appearances. What yeah. appears one way could be something else. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of nice. Yeah. I, I haven't seen a Hamilton. Oh, it's really good. I took my mom and it was really, I think I love it even more because I took my mom. And so it's a special memory for me. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any hidden talent? <laughs> oh, no. Um, let's see. Well, a lot of people don't know. I'm actually, um, I love martial arts. And I hold a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. So that's kind of hidden, maybe. I don't know if it's hidden. I've got a nerdy hidden talent. Um, this is only going to appeal to people who are musicians in, in, I don't know, kind of a quirky way. I can sing the circle of fifths, which is kind of funny, which means if I start on one note, I can sing all of the scales. Like there's 12 in 12 different keys through all the sharps and flats. I'm not going to do it for you now, but it's because it's a little bit boring, but um, I can sing the circle of fists. And so you start on one note and you sing 12 scales and you end up back on the same note. I don't know. It's, it's a silly little, I guess it's a talent. I don't know. 
<laughs> what is one thing that you would like our readers to know about Thor? I think one thing I would like our readers to know about Special Olympics Oregon is that there is a place for everyone to, to invest, right? People that are volunteering, I hear sometimes like, oh, well, I don't have time or I'm not good at this sport or that sport. And I think there's always something that someone has to give or share. And a hundred percent of the time, if you invest your time and energy, um, you're going to get back way more yeah. than, than you put in. So if you're an athlete, you're going to achieve things you didn't even think about. You just wanted to, let's say if it's a runner in my track program and they just, they're running a 200 and they just want to break that 40 seconds. That seems to be the 40 second wall is like, it's a common goal, but something else happens along the way. So you go to achieve one goal and then you realize that you feel better about yourself. You realize that you have confidence that now translates into speaking to people that maybe you weren't, you were shy and now you're being a little more brave, right? Um, yeah. People that volunteer, you, you think, oh, well, I'm good at organizing, but in the process, you start listening to people's stories and, and what they're overcoming and you become inspired to do maybe a different role or do something different. It just, there is just really a place for everyone and Special Olympics provides for athletes um, life skills and opportunities and challenges and um, opportunities to grow that is really unlike any other organization I've ever been a part of. I hope that makes sense. Does that make it sense? Does. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us today, Thundee. Absolutely. Thank you, Rachel, for doing this job. You're welcome.